RESTful APIs are becoming the standard protocol in enabling machine-to-machine -machine communication. In this video, I will introduce you to all the important things you need to know about RESTful APIs. In order to truly understand the design of RESTful APIs, you first need to understand the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or more commonly known as HTTP. HTTP is the foundation of data communication for the World Wide Web. HTTP was developed back in 1989 by Tim Berners-Lee, and it enabled the sharing of electronic information. The original intent of HTTP was to allow everyone to access electronic information shared by others. All electronic information are represented on web servers as documents that can stored locally or dynamically generated on demand. Each electronic document is identified by a unique resource identifier, commonly known as a URI. HTTP define request methods to read, create, update and delete electronic information and documents referenced by resource identifiers. Here are the most commonly used HTTP request methods. Get, read a resource. Post, create or update a resource. Put, replace an existing resource. Delete, remove an existing resource. HTTP is based on client-to-server communication. A client will issue a HTTP request to the web server, and the web server will respond back with a HTTP response. In recent years, there is more demand for electronic communication between different systems and HTTP is filling that void because of its simple design, wide adoption and interoperability between heterogeneous systems. No longer are people the only ones requesting for HTTP documents, there are also batch processes, scripts, data producers and data consumers all programmatically making these types of requests. The RESTful API was developed in order to standardize on how these programs should interact with the web server. The REST in RESTful API stands for Representational State Transfer, and it is a set of conventions that governs how HTTP requests and responses behave. The original HTTP specification was developed for the human realm whereas RESTful APIs were developed for the programmatic realm. In the human realm, the HTTP responses are returned as documents represented as HTML and rendered by web browsers such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge or Apple Safari. By contrast, the programmatic realm typically returns the document that are more easily understood and typically would be in the JSON or XML format that can easily consumed by computer processes. In the human realm, HTTP requests are represented in the HTML format created by web browsers from input produced by end users, whereas in the programmatic realm, HTTP requests are programmatically generated with the payload in the JSON or XML message formats. In the human realm, hyperlinks are used to navigate between different documents loosely created by humans and stored on a web server. Whereas in the programmatic realm, all web resources are uniquely identified by their URIs and are produced dynamically by a robust set of application servers. Accompanying the RESTful APIs are a set of documentation stating their primary function, behaviors and side effects. Therefore the RESTful API is a software architectural style that specifies the conventions for the design of APIs that are intended for consumption by computer programs instead of being consumed by human. RESTful API treat each data element as a web resource which are uniquely identified by a universal resource identifier, commonly known as a URI. There are four primary HTTP request methods that operate on all resources. These are get, post, put and delete and they perform the read, create or update, replace and delete operations on the resources respectively. The message formats that accompany the HTTP requests and responses of RESTful APIs are typically in the JSON or XML format that is easily understood by computer processes instead of the HTML format used in the human realm. To summarize, the RESTful API is a set of guidelines for 1. Represent each unique data element as an addressable web resource using a unique universal resource identifier, commonly known as a URI. 2. Each web resource can be operated upon by using HTTP requests methods such as GET, POST, PUT and DELETE. 3. 
HTTP request and response messages are typically encoded in the JSON or XML message formats. The RESTful APIs are a set of guidelines and does not enforce any strict standards, so there will still be some differences between implementations. This gives the software developer more freedom to expose their backend services as RESTful APIs, and this freedom is the primary reason for the widespread adoption of using RESTful APIs for machine-to-machine -machine communication. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.